Hello guys. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to rotate using a tank. I will also show you how to position yourself in certain situations, and also teach you about map control, objective control, map awareness, and many more. So let's get started with the video. So let's start with the early game. During the early game, the first thing to do as a tank is to buy roaming boots, and after you buy your roaming boots, you can select between 4 roaming skills, and I selected the Encourage, Team Enhancement as my roaming skill, and I recommend you to select the Encourage skill as well, as it will increase your nearby allied hero's magic and physical power by 13 to 33, and also increase their attack speed by 33%. And as you can see, after buying your roaming boots, make sure to look at the enemy's composition. If the enemy has any hero that can disturb your jungler's farm like Franco or Tigreal, then you must prevent that from happening by supporting the jungler. And honestly speaking, in higher ranks like Mythic and above, you must always support your hyper during the start of the game. Because there is a high chance the enemies can invade your jungler and steal his buff. So I would recommend you help your jungler secure his first buff and litho, before you start rotating to the other lanes. And be flexible in your playstyle based on the situation. In this match, the enemies have Fanny in their team, and Fanny players will usually invade your red buff after they finish taking their blue. So keeping that in mind, right after Gujan finished taking his buff, I helped him take the enemy's red. Sometimes you need to be aggressive, initiating fights, and at other times, you may need to play defensively to protect your team. Here I saw the enemies invading Dyerith. So I'm gonna rotate to the bottom lane, so that the enemies won't be able to push the tower. And most of the time, most inexperienced tank players will make the mistake of not rotating and just babysitting the marksman during the entire early to mid game. And that is something you must avoid in higher ranks. Because that strategy doesn't work in the higher ranks. And once the enemies notice you're not rotating, they will take that as an advantage and keep invading your jungle. So be mindful of this, and the best tank strategy in higher ranks is baby sitting your jungler for the first few minutes, and after you help your hyper secure his buff and litho, you can then start rotate to the other lanes. And if you're wondering why I'm roaming around this area instead of rotating to the gold lane, it's because the turtle already got spawned. And we are only 2 minutes into the game, but the enemies already have 3 kills while we are still with 0 kills. Meaning the enemies are ahead in gold, and if the enemies manage to take the turtle, then our farm will be more behind and they will be able to snowball us and it will only make the game harder for us. So I'm giving vision to my teammates, and this way, if the enemies start taking the turtle, we will have a chance to contest or steal it. Here, it seems like the enemies are not gonna contest the turtle. And just like that we managed to secure the turtle. And that was a mistake from the enemy's side. Because now we have a chance in making the gold and the EXP equal. A turtle gives your whole team extra EXP, gold, and a shield that is very important. So always prioritize taking the turtle. After your first turtle, the next step as a tank is, you must keep ganking other lanes with your mage or hyper so that the team can get kills. In one game, four turtles spawn time after time, so you must be there to help your team secure the turtle. And when the turtle is not spawned, you should provide vision and try preventing ganks from the enemies. As you know, information helps to get success in any fight. You, as a tank, can stay in a bush and provide the vision to safeguard the area during the match. Most tanks should wait in the bush to be ready for an ambush with the team. And your team should avoid or wait for you before engaging in a team fight. Starting a team fight without your tank is like running in a road full of rocks without your shoes. It will only end up hurting you. And you should also never take fights without knowing the enemy's position. The more information you have about the enemy's location, the easier for your team to win the game. So, it is one of the most important things for a tank to do throughout the game. As you can see, I was hiding in the bush, and because of that, I was able to spot the enemy's mage rotating towards the gold lane. That will alert our marksman, and now, 
the enemies won't be able to gank her. And she will also have a chance of surviving and also potentially killing the enemy because she knows the location of the enemy trying to gank her. Remember that. Whenever you finish securing the turtle and don't see any fights happening in the minimap, always make sure to go to the gold lane and hide in the bush. Because most marksmen are weak during the early to mid game, and it's very likely that the enemies will rotate towards the gold lane because the marksmen are usually the easiest to kill during the early to mid game. Now, let's talk about builds. To be effective in tanking damage, you need to purchase defensive items that match the composition of the opposing team. If they rely on physical damage, buy physical defense items such as antique fluoresce, blade armor, or dominance ice. If they depend on magic damage, get Athena's shield, radiant armor, or oracle. And always remember that teamwork is the key. So make sure to always communicate with your teammates for a better teamwork. Use the in-game chat or voice commands to coordinate with your team. Let them know when you're initiating, retreating, or when your ultimate ability is ready. And that way, you will have a higher chance in winning most team fights. Now, let's talk about positioning. Stay between your teammates and the enemy, and try absorbing damage to protect your squishier allies. Be aware of your positioning during team fights to maximize your impact. And as a tank, always make sure that you're the one who starts the team fight. Be the front line and engage fights for your team. Use your crowd control skills to disrupt the enemy and create opportunities for your allies. Late game is when the first lord spawns in the game. And the lord is a very crucial part of the game. It helps you push the enemy's turret. So whenever it spawns, you should be ready and try getting near the lord. You can try to take the Lord before the enemies, but if the enemies are trying to take it before you, you must certainly try to steal it from them. In most games, securing a Lord is the only way to finish the game because pushing turrets by yourself is hard by a late game. But never be too desperate to finish the game, as it could lead to your downfall. Instead try being patient and wait for the right moment to end the game. And during the late game, team fights are crucial. So stay close to your damage dealers, by providing them with protection and disruption for the enemy team. Your crowd control abilities can be game changers. And make sure to maintain vision around key areas, especially near objectives. Use your tankiness to safely check bushes and scout for enemy positions. This helps prevent surprise attacks and facilitates better decision making. Stay vigilant about enemy movements and be ready to respond to threats. Late game mistakes can lead to game changing consequences, so always be aware of the minimap. Coordinate with your team through pings or chat to relay important information. Late game decisions often require teamwork, and effective communication can make a significant difference. And if you noticed, we started to lose really hard during the late game. But watch closely and see how we manage to make an epic comeback. The enemies managed to wipe us out two times in a row. But they made a grave mistake by not staying together with each other. And we took that as an advantage and somehow managed to make it work. Here, we managed to kill their main damage dealer Fanny. And that was huge, and now we'll be able to defend the Lord without trouble. And just when I thought things were going our way, they managed to wipe us out again, and I honestly thought we lost the game. Remember that late game situations are dynamic, and adaptability is key. Be prepared to make split second decisions based on the flow of the game. Your role as a tank becomes even more critical in the late game, so stay focused on creating opportunities for your team while minimizing risks.
My teammates somehow managed to defend the base. And the enemies took the Lord again and then we managed to defend the base again. This was one of the most intense matches I have played in a while. Make sure to leave a like and comment about your favorite tank. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more gameplay tutorials like this.